We're here to have breakfast at the Low Country Produce Market and Cafe. This building was built in 1917. It was originally a post office and then it turned into City Hall later on. We do serve brunch all day, eight to three. And I can't wait to take you guys inside. French toast with bacon and fruit compote butter. We got a slice of tomato pie for Damon and Michaela to try because they've never had it. Of course, I'm gonna have some too. And then Damon and Michaela both got their biscuits and gravy with eggs, and this looks so good. They also got their orange juice, and it is fresh squeezed, and you guys, it is so pure, no additives, it's just great. I love how their um, syrup is served here too. This is really nice. But we just had a delicious breakfast. Damon and Michaela had the biscuits and gravy as you saw. I'm telling you right now, I've never had biscuits and gravy so good. Gravy particularly was fantastic. The sausage was not um, overly sagey. It had a nice mild flavor, but it still was just packed full of so many like spices and seasonings and everything like that. My brioche French toast was not that great. I will say that the flavor of it was great. The crust of it was great. Everything in the middle was so soggy and slimy. I couldn't eat it, but the bacon, top drawer bacon. It was so crispy and thick cut and really long, nice wide pieces of bacon. Couldn't have asked for better bacon and that tomato pie, chef's kiss. I would 10 out of 10 recommend coming there. Just don't get the brioche French toast. <laughs> um, everything else was so good though. I really can't complain about that because I'm full. 
I'm absolutely full. Could have been a tomato pie that you ate. That's what I just said. The tomato pie was wow. I haven't had it in so long. I'm gonna have to go home and make it. Uh, they they knew what they were doing with that. <laughs> that's for sure. Right here, we are. Right here is the oldest house, I believe, in Beaufort. Built 1720, the Thomas Hepworth House, historic Buford Foundation. This beautiful home is the William Waterhouse home, built in 1898. Really gorgeous. I can't hear myself think with these jets going by. <laughs> That's probably the loudest I've heard it since we've been here. <laughs> yeah. That's gorgeous way back there. Wow, look at the top of that house. Ow. I just got slapped in the face with Spanish moss. <laughs> ah, That's so crazy. You if you guys watched my tour when we did the golf cart tour, this is one of the first houses that we looked at where they were growing cotton in the back. But here's the back of that house from a different angle. Here's the cotton and there's the kitchen house. This is also the house that is the Prince of Tides house. It's the mom's house. Wow. I don't realize how big it is until you're off the golf cart. Yeah. It is so massive. <clears throat> I think it's just the trim. Yeah, here's an up-close look at those marble stairs that are broken. Yeah. It is beautiful. We decided to come back and walk by the castle. So, you know, we couldn't get very close to it before, other than when we kind of drove in here ourselves, but on the tour, we couldn't go in. But it is so pretty. All these, like, gaslit lanterns just blow me away. These views blow me away. There's a lot of these views that are preserved by the city of Beaufort. Nobody can do anything with them. But they're just gorgeous. And this is from 1860, hospital number six, like we had said before in another vlog. Said, this home served as hospital number six during the Union occupation of Beaufort, 1861 to 1863. It was the primary hospital during the war for enlisted men in Union African American regiments, including the Massachusetts. Massachusetts 54th Regiment after the Battle of Fort Wagner. It's hard to really see, I'm sorry, in Charleston Harbor. Notable patients and nurses included Sergeant William Carney, first African American recipient of the Medal of Honor, and Sergeant Lewis Douglas, Frederick Douglass's son, Harriet Tubman, and Clara Barton. Clara Barton. Dr. Joseph Johnson House. Spectacular, you guys. Unreal. This view is gorgeous. There is the the morgue <laughs> where they hid the gold and silver. And then they came back and got it. That is so crazy. I would love to go through there and look around. Here's that beautiful tree that we first saw and learned about the resurrection fern. That we like. That's where you're looking to land, I think. Oh, yeah. Right here. There's the back entrance, too. The one's on the other side of that. The castle. Yeah. 
you saw it yesterday, it wasn't like that. Yeah. What the heck is that? Yeah, this is almost dry yesterday, so. Whew. So the pirates used to bring their boats up through there and park them right here and get out and whatever the word is. Steal people's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the heck that is back there. There's like ironworks or something. Do you see it? Yeah. Representation of the pirates, I bet. It looks like it. That is too crazy. <laughs> yep. Neat. And this house right here also owned these houses and these houses were the slave houses for this home over to our left the cables holding you see it right there that limb it's got a cable going all the way up holding that limb up off of their house we talked about the preservation of these trees in another video but they've got to take every measure possible these are where those palm trees were across the way that's their backyard yeah they've got a Do everything possible not to cut down or disturb any part of the tree and that's pretty neat how this one goes like an arm over the driveway our tour guide I believe said something to the fact that he thinks that they probably braced it as it was growing for that to happen but it was really cool huh baby yes ma'am looks like a guest house back there this is another gorgeous home They've got the original blown glass windows in this one. This home on the end here is actually going through historic restoration, so... I'm sure they have to do that from time to time, but what a task it must be to take that. Mm -hmm. To take that on has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. 1974 National Park Service, United States Department of the Interior. So, James Robert Veriter House. Some of these people I've never heard of. I'm not like a major history buff, but I'm enjoying learning more about it give us a lot of content to look up when we get home and see more about the people surrounding these homes. We came by this last night and it was so pretty with all those lights hanging up on the trees. It was a really pretty house. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are enjoying this little walking tour with us. It's stuff that we've already driven around to see but it's just a completely different vibe when you're out walking and enjoying it. It's a little park over here. title home. This house was commissioned by Edgar Fripp, 1806 to 1860 and completed in 1853. Based on the architect Samuel Sloan's designs, it was built in the Italian, I can't pronounce that, Italianate? Italianate? Italianate style with a prominent central cupola served as a townhome for Fripp and his wife Eliza, 1810 to 61. Fripp was a substantial Sea Island cotton planter who owned Seaside Plantation on St. Hel Helena Island. During the Civil War, the house served as U.S. Hospital No. 7, which provided care for officers. The house suffered severe damage from Sea Island Hurricane of 1893. The couple and gables were then incorporated into the roof and a second floor piazza type Piazza, typical of the Beaufort style, was added. In the 1920s, it was named Title Home 
meaning home by the river, and served as a popular seasonal guest house and retreat. In the late 20th century, it was the backdrop for several Hollywood films, including The Great Santini, 1979, and The Big Chill, 1983. So let's go take a peek at that. Big Chill and Great Santini. Here we go. All of these, there's another house here and one there, all in that whole section. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful homes right through here. Now we need to go watch The Big Chill in the Great Santini. Because the sign said those were the backdrops for those two films. What was that? When the castle had the front yard or whatever backyard was a wedding scene from that force of nature, Ben Affleck and Sandra Bullock. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. it was with it, it was a little guest house. Oh, when you come down. We've also showed you guys this house before, but I love that the carriage steps are still out here. This is B.B. Sam's house, number two, 1852. It was constructed and these columns were built what, eight years before the war, nine years before the war to distract cannons and things like that from actually hitting the home. It's so beautiful, I love that door. I love those little carriage steps too. Absolutely gorgeous. I love every bit of it. They do have a pretty backyard too. Wow, little arch gateways. Trying to be above like they're, uh, yeah. I'm really surprised this doesn't have all those oyster shells in it as old as the stuff is right here. Beautiful backyard though. A lot of different types of trees and stuff. A lot more homes here have those, the blown glass than I thought. Because the way we were told that they eventually melt and the top part of the glass is really thin while the bottom gets really thick in the heat. And um, I, I see a lot of houses still with it though. Even the place we had breakfast this morning had some of it. Like this back window has got it on that top pane. A lot of these do. I'm just not going to film close to their windows in case they're home, but I like this little carriage post. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I think that's carriage steps too. I might be completely wrong. If I am, please correct me. I will not be offended. So we're going to go up King Street now. We're going to go head back to the car and see what else we can get into. And if I see anything else, I'll be happy to show you, but um, I think that's going to be it for our walking part of this video right now. Just leave you with this gorgeous house here as we walk by.